Mom, I just thought I'd give you a call and check in. I know things have been pretty rough. You finally get a job, and I know it's a tough one. I, I'm just, I'm just feeling awful for you. You know, why don't you take some time off and just write and take a trip? Fall in love. You know, we just want you happy, bud. That's all. So give us a call when you can, okay? All right, bye now. Hey, Henry, how's it going, pal? Uh, you left your hat at work today. I know how you feel about that thing, so I'm gonna stop by and drop it off. I hope I'm not butting into your lunchtime. Anyways, I'll see you in just a little bit. Oh, by the way, this is Doug. Doug Picaro. Bye. Forty-two-year-old mobster. With a short-ass temper. Did my mom put you up to this? Henry, you're being ridiculous, babe. Nobody knows about me except for you. That you keep me locked in that closet for so long. What's this about? Listen, can you please put your cigarette out and tell me what the hell is going on right now? The girl with the flower up her sleeve. What's this about? Who is she? She's. Uh, no. I who is she? Okay. I've become kind of a pacifist since 2000. And what, Henry? And what? You wrote somebody better than me? Is that what you're about to say, Henry? No, Doug, no. This isn't what it looks like. Doug? Doug, please. Please. You're acting completely out of character right now. Remember, you're my protagonist. With a short-ass temper, Henry. With a very short temper. Sorry, Henry. I guess I was acting very hard. Doug, listen. It's not you. It's me. I got caught up in my work for so long. The years, they just flew by. I'm a different guy now, I swear. Do you ever think about me? Of course. I'm thinking about you right now, aren't I? It's just I've been stuck in the back of that closet for so long. Chapter 13. Doug slowly lit up a cigarette as he waited for Father O'Callaghan to return to his confessional. Christ, Henry, I'm not even fucking religious. That cigarette's been burning for five years straight. You're choking me, man. You're really choking me. The truth is, I knew how I wanted my story to end. But I fell in love with it, and I just couldn't bring myself to end it. But now, now I find myself inspired. Is that true? Of course. You're my main character. Kinda of embarrassed. I guess I overreacted. I guess I'll be on my way. Oh, uh, Henry? <laughs> 